All right, so I'm going to be showing how to open up and disassemble this Lenovo ThinkBook 14S Yoga ITL. All right. I don't know if there's any other model information on there, but that looks like it. All right. So first thing we're going to be using is a T5 or Torx 5 screwdriver, and we're going to be removing or undoing all the screws from the bottom. All right. So the six screw here's act six screws there actually stay attached to the thing, so you don't want to take them out. You just undo them and then they become loose and wobbly. All right, if this video helps you out, please make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Uh, if you can't help that way, um, it also helps a lot if you can watch a few of my other videos and then like and comment on them as well because YouTube likes to see that. All right, anyways, the four here at the bottom, they do come out and they look kind of weird like this. All right, so these are some like strange screws. So make sure you don't lose them or anything because if you do, I don't know how you'd get replacements. All right, anyways, let's get these four screws out. And then we're just gonna take a quick look inside. This one actually has a damaged motherboard from being dropped and it doesn't um like it'll power up and then it shuts itself off after all right anyways once we got all those screws out we're going to carefully open this up what i do to get this out is i'll get my fingernails in the gap here and then i'll push on the palm rest make sure you don't push on the uh, key, uh trackpad or touchpad all right so we'll go in here and we'll push on that and you can see it pops out just like that i'm going to go over to the other side and do the same thing Okay, and there you go, it pops out just like that. If you don't have fingernails, um, you might have to get pry tools and just try and work your way in there, but I feel fingernails work a lot better. All right, once we got that, we're gonna pull this up and then we're gonna kind of wiggle it. It's a little bit tough. If the side doesn't come up, you can slide a f your fingernail or a pry tool in the gap while you're kind of pulling up on it. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and grab closer to the middle here. I'm holding down where the hinge is and we're gonna kind of like pull this side to side as I kind of lift it up and there we go all right so basically I was just wiggling it like this as I pulled it up all right we'll set that aside and we'll take a quick look inside here okay so let's actually get a thumbnail so I'm going to center this and line it up and then we'll leave it here for a thumbnail okay all right so we got a battery in here, pretty simple to remove. You do need to switch to a JAS-1 or J1 screwdriver, all right? There's two screws on this side and then you got one here and the battery model information model is right there. Um, L19C4PDB, all right? So that's the battery model number right there if you need it. Okay, there's also a BIOS CMOS RTC real-time clock battery here. If you need to replace this, um, I do have a code with um, some company that will save you, I think, like 10 or 15%, something like that. So if you need that, feel free to ask. All right, you got a big fan here. This is what it looks like. I'm not going to be taking all this stuff out. I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like in here. You got this big connector here that goes underneath the motherboard to here to connect it. All right. Or sorry, it goes under the battery to connect to the motherboard there. You got this little cable going in there for the fingerprint sensor over here. Um that in there or is it in the screen oh yeah it's part of the button so fingerprint sensor is part of the power button okay but it connects to this here all right these are little um zero insertion force or zip connectors they have these flip latches that you just get underneath flip it up and then slide your finger over to lock it back down don't use like tools to pry it over sideways okay uh what else do you got here there's usb port soldered everything soldered there this little board is replaceable you have this two pin connector here which most likely is going to this speaker and then you have this speaker here all right and then a cable actually this is the speaker cable and then it has a wire going underneath to plug it in there so what's this little one? Oh, that's for the pen here Okay, so that connects for this sensor here. What else do we got here? All right, you got the keyboard connector here. This brownish, orangish one is the keyboard backlight connector. Um, then you got the battery here. To get that out, you remove the battery, and then once you lift it up, you can get underneath. I like to pinch the wires between my fingers like that, and then you kind of just wiggle it as you pull it back. 
All right, um, then you got a M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD here. They use a shorter one, but you can remove this metal bracket and then you can put a full size length one here and put the screw directly there. You got the LCD LVDS connector here. This kind of connector, um, it has this pull tab that you pull it up, but usually this, I can't pull it up that way. So I get underneath here and then pop it up with my fingernail. All right, you got one slot for RAM here. Um, and actually there's no RAM currently being in here that's replaceable so the ram is actually soldered to the motherboard so we're going to pull this connector or this metal plate up so you can see and yeah i'm pretty sure it's pc4 or ddr4 ram um, there's these little clips that hold this metal bracket into place so keep that in mind you got these little metal parts that um you gotta line them up when you put this thing into place okay so get that all lined up and then push that down just like that and like that all right, what else? You got the wireless card here. It's uh, the antennas are held in with this adhesive plastic strip. So if you need to take it out, the antennas, you do need to peel that off. And then to disconnect the antennas, you go from the tails and pop them up there. Fan connectors right there. And CPUs under here soldered to the motherboard with this um, heat sink on top. All right, not really much else to look at in here. So I guess we'll put it back together, okay? Um, oh, and if you're wondering, there's the touchpad or trackpad connector there. Okay, um, oh, there is one more M.2 PCIe NVMe slot here, so if you want a second one, you can put that. There's actually a screw. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and get the bottom cover back on. Pretty simple, <clears throat> simple and straightforward. Um, you just line it back up and then click everything back down. All right, again, hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, please make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade or repair their devices as well. And again, if it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing well to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. And if you can't, again, it would help a lot if you could watch a few of my other videos, like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, let's get all these screws back in. I like to turn it backwards first to hear it click to make sure it goes in properly and that it's not just um, skipping or going in crooked. All right, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. You're welcome to stay as I get back the rest of these screws in. You do, again, wanna make sure you push it all down to clip everything back into place. And that's just about it. All right, we'll get all these screws in and we'll see you all in the next one. All right, Six screws. And yeah, sadly I wasn't able to fix this one because it was dropped it seems like probably the motherboard has an internal crack like the power button it'll light up for a little bit and then it goes back off so all right last two screws That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. All right, let's drop this spike.